Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will explain photodiodes in detail. So, following topics will be covered in the video. Types of photodiode, then construction, working, advantages and disadvantages and applications of photodiodes. So, let's start with the types of photodiodes. So, basically a photodiode is a PN junction of semiconductor material that produces electron hole pairs in response to light. As it is a light sensitive device, it will produce the electron hole pair in response to light. Here the types of photodiodes are a photoconductive diode and a photovoltaic diode. A photoconductive diode is uh, changes its resistance whenever light falls on it. Generally, this type of diode is operated in reverse bias mode and a photovoltaic diode is nothing but known as a solar cell which produces electric voltage when light falls on it. So, let's start with the first one that is photoconductive diode. A semiconductor material such as silicon, germanium, cadmium sulphide and cadmium selenides are commonly used in photodiode. The photodiode generally operated in reverse bias. So here we can see a PN junction diode that is P type and that is N type region. Now this is a depletion region here and this diode is connected in reverse bias. As you can see here the P junction is connected to negative of the power supply and N junction is connected to the positive of power supply. In this case, whenever light falls on it, here the due to the photon, electrons host pair will be combined here and the resistance of this region that depletion layer decreases and therefore current through the diode start conducting. Here the breakdown condition may occur at about 10 volts and the corresponding current will be nearly proportional to the intensity of light. Here generally a 12 uh, 10 volt power supply is enough to uh, conduct this diode and as the light intensity increases the current will increase here that is the current is directly proportional to the intensity of light. Here you can see the photograph of a photodiode which looks like this one. Now the symbol for photodiode is this one. It is just similar to that of PN junction diode along with the rays of lights. Then the sensitivity of a photodiode is rather low because we generally operate it in reverse bias and therefore the current is actually very very less and change in current is also less that is a fraction of milliampere. Similarly, a diode is actually faster than a simple PN junction diode because here the intrinsic layer is used in the diode. Now let's see some advantages and disadvantages. The first one advantage is it is having a good frequency response. It means that its speed is higher. Then it produces a spectral response also. It is having a good linearity and the problem of noise is very low. Now let's see some disadvantages. The active area of photodiode is actually very small that is uh, where, where, where the light falls uh, that area is actually very very less in size. The requirement of bias voltage to maintain linearity over a wide range. We require here the bias, bias voltage that is nothing but the supply. The next one is actually uh, the problem of dark current. Here the dark current means the current which is existing in the dark that is in absence of light still some current flows and that dark current increases rapidly with increase in temperature. It means that as temperature increases the dark current also increases. The last one is the illumination level is low 
then a very low voltage is available at the output which needs amplification here overall output is very very low and therefore amplification is necessary in case of a photodiode now let's see some applications of photo conductive diode the photodiodes are widely used in high quality light meters and demodulations as it is faster we can use it in soundtrack recorders then it is used in optical communication then it is used in barcode scanner and character recognition it is also used in obstacle detection system it can be used in printers as a page presence and page counters means we can use it as a counter it is used in proximity device uh, detection and oximeters similarly it is also used in optical encoders and decoder decoders so these were the applications of photoconductive diode now next diode is a photovoltaic diode a photovoltaic diode is also known as photovoltaic cell so this photovoltaic diode first convert light energy into heat and then heat energy is converted into electricity for visible light the most common type of conversion device is known as photovoltaic or solar cell so basically photodiode is nothing but a solar cell here these cells are similar in many ways to the battery because they supplies the direct current and therefore in the symbol of so uh, photovoltaic diode you can see here a cell which is having positive and negative terminal that is it seems to be a battery and it depends on the light and therefore this arrow is provided here indicating the light falls on it a photovoltaic cell has a positive and negative side just like a battery a photovoltaic cell is made up of a single crystal silicon pn junction so here the pn junction diode is basically a single crystal silicon with large sensitive region here we can see the sensitive region for a photovoltaic cell now whenever a solar radiation falls on it due to photovoltaic effect here this the light energy actually converts into heat and further this heat energy combines this electrons and host pairs and therefore the current will start flowing through the pn junction diode in uh, this pv diode we, we can connect a load here at the output side and the, here no input supply is actually connected means it is not biased at all the current that is produced due to photovoltaic effect is known as photoelectric current the overall voltage provided by the photovoltaic uh, diode is very very less and it is only 0.58 volt per cell basically a solar cell just looks like this now if we want a higher voltage and higher current we should connect it in series so these solar cells are connected in solar panels in series to increase the overall current and the amount of available current from a pv cells depends on the light intensity size of the cell means larger the cell it will provide larger current similarly for larger for higher in light intensity it will provide high current and its efficiency is only about 15 to 20 percent and this can be increased by changing the material into a polycrystalline silicon or a an amorphous silicon which is actually not having a crystalline structure now let's see the applications of photovoltaic cell it is used in larger solar panels used to provide the collection of sufficient amount of solar energy then solar cells provide the ideal source for power for relatively small electrical items in remote areas it is also used in small gadgets used at home just like a calculator or a or an emergency lamp 
High efficiency photovoltaic cell has supplied the power to ventures such as International Space Station that is ISS and surface rovers on moons and Mars. So it is generally used in space exploration. So these were the applications of photovoltaic cell. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification. And like, comment and share. Thank you.